oh, last week, just a few days ago, I'm doing some of this media in on live on a podcast and in, in the house and um, my phone starts ringing and I'm ignoring it. You know, I don't want to ever look like I'm not interested in what I'm doing. Like whoever that is, I'll call them back. But it was um, from one of the girls that we've done ministry with in the past. And um, she said she mentioned another girl that was also involved in all that ministry and she said that she had just had a baby. She was in jail, just had a baby and, and signed him over to me. Um, I said, do what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't quite hear that correctly. So and that was the conversation it, I was representing mm-hmm. when you were like, we have a baby. I was like, but, you know, that, that day was a podcast day for Jace, which, you know, is very busy for him. And we had other things going on. I had the media stuff I was doing. We had meetings in town. He was getting ready to go on a Just trip say, for metal also detecting. A TV show. Right. Yeah, we have a TV so, show. So, you yeah. know, all of this is happening and I literally don't even have the time to process it in my brain. I don't know how to make a decision about this. I'm trying to gather information and so the social worker gets my number and we talk and from the hospital and I said, When was this baby born? Two days ago and he's ready to be released so you know, you can come get him any time. <laughs> uh, I said, Well that's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and you're like, can you even do that? I mean, well, yeah. so many questions. And as we continue the story, we won't get into the finer details sure. just because there's a lot of moving parts and it's fluid. Right. So I'm, I'm trying to help you out in telling the story. Well, so, I, I, my, you know, you know but, I did. Jace was napping at the time, you know, in between all of this. So, you know, so I said, you want to hear something crazy? <laughs> he said, good, crazy or bad, crazy. And I, I said, I don't know. You know, so when I told him, I didn't know what his reaction was going to be, but he was, that's amazing. It was an, he, his, his response was, that's amazing because, number one, she chose life yep. for this baby. Um, number two, I haven't spoken or seen her in over two years. And Jace baptized her. Phil, you, you preached to her. You shared Jesus with her. Mm-hmm. I brought her down to your house, and then Jace took her to the church building and baptized her. So... That was over two years ago, and she thought of us, yeah. you know, living a life of addiction yep. and having a baby and thought of us as the safest place for this baby to go. Yeah, because she well, obviously yeah. was going to go back to jail. She's back in jail. Well, right, and that's why we're, you know, protecting her right. as far as, you know, we obviously you want people to find their relationship with God and grace and peace, but, you know, you make bad decisions and get off track. So but, it, but, it, but at least this was a good decision is what I'm saying. And we thought, even though we're not adopting the baby and we'll see where that goes, yeah. we, we she's in our custody and we have a newborn. And that's been interesting this week. <laughs> I can say so for the listeners, they're thinking, what would I do if the phone rings one day and say, guess what, uh, this this woman – who is in prison is giving us and trusting her, you with our child, trust yeah. Her with my with my child, so will you take this baby? I mean, do you have any help that you've called me? <laughs> <laughs> well, the f- I mean, it's been a while since you've nursed Reed. <laughs> yes, believe me, I know. <laughs> no, no, I mean our. Well, look, Jace did you, say on the Unashamed I'm podcast that a hundred-year-old guy had faith. I said, "What about a fifty-one-year-old guy?" Process, and I mean, if somebody just says, "Here, here's my child. You want him?" You like. Well, well yeah, I mean, our, our family rallied around this. Well, thing. look, I mean, that believe me, that that thought was very prevalent in my mind. Like, okay. I'm, I'm not. A, I'm not a what you say a young buck. I'm not a young doe anymore, right. and I don't really a know. Young doe, I don't. Yeah. And you went through the child ring with the two boys and your Mia, and then all of a sudden, you know, how many years ago? I guess until, you know, Mia's what 18. 18. Yeah, it's been 18. 18. So it's been 18 well, to 20 years. Since we just had, had a baby. grandbaby, so at least we're, you know. In I got a little refamiliarized with everything with Maris because, yeah. I mean, even the first day when she came home from the hospital when we were in Tennessee, you know, I, Brighton was like, oh, she needs her diaper changed. I said, oh, let me. And I go and I lay her in, I lay her the wrong way. Like I'm left handed. I'm like, wait, 
I, I, I forgot how to how does this all work again? You know, because they're so tiny, they're so tiny, and like I need to make sure I'm doing this correctly. But now I got the hang of that, and the you know the feeding Brighton did herself because she breastfed. But a lot of that was just um, watching from a distance. Now I have this baby that's totally completely dependent. I mean, you have on your me. oldest son and his wife who just gave birth to a. Right. A baby. And that's been what, a month ago? Three. Almost three. <clears throat> three months yeah. ago. And then this and, and you know, that that's a lot going on in a short period of Surprisingly, time. Surprisingly, while she was getting ready to come down here, I was and she was doing some book promotion stuff. Uh so I was in charge of watching him, which he was just in where what used to be one of our little dog spots, you know, that dog's looking, and I'm like, hey, Lord, hey. please help this family. I just, yeah, I had read that book, so I said, hey, little doggy, if you can understand this, humans oh, yeah. are more My important. My point is. Well, well, what I was going to say was, is I heard this sound, and it sounded like an explosion, and I quickly <laughs> remembered that sound from 18 years ago. What, so what I that said, means? Babe, this baby's yeah. getting then fussy. Yeah, while you're sitting over there doing nothing, and I'm on some kind of drive-in My time at a radio is, station. And I'm sure the listeners would be wondering, where is the baby at this moment. At this moment, he is home with Mia right now. Yeah. He is he is home and she's taking care of him. She's done that a couple of times this week because of our schedule. So Which is great about having an 18-year-old. <laughs> which yeah. is like, hey. Which is a form of training. Yeah. Yes, exactly. for sure. Oh, it is. She loves that the baby need protection, family. You said, what, what, how are we going to yeah, I want to say this. I wanna, we want this woman to get her life right. Yep. But we want to put this baby in the best place to succeed in life. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, we just made a decision after prayer and consultation that this was it at, for the short term. 